He put like his tongue in my mouth and then like sucked my lips off my face. The whole skin right there ripped. I refuse to let that be my first kiss. Hi, I'm Angela and this is my first kiss horror story. I was almost 15 and I had been dating this boy for maybe about a month. I had not had my first kiss yet, but he had had his. Every day after school, he would walk me and my best friend to my best friend's sister's car because my best friend and I would carpool all the time. And it was like always a thing where he would walk us out and there's like a gate right before you get to the cars. And then, you know, he'd give me a little hug at the gate and then she would walk and then, you know, we'd say goodbye or whatever. And then on this specific day, right, like school had just gone out. There's so many people around us. He stops a little early, like before the gate and he like gives me a really long hug. My best friend just keeps walking. We're standing there and he like looks down at me and like, it's just us two in that moment. And he goes, you know what I want to do right now? And I was like, kiss me, cause I was 14 and over dramatic. And so he like leans in for the kiss, right? And it's like going well at first and you know, just a very basic first kiss, a peck, but I'm 14 years old and I have no idea what I'm doing. And I guess I start using tongue. I don't know what happened. So he starts using tongue. I felt his tongue and I think I freaked out like internally and externally. And I just like pulled away. I was so scared. I was like, okay, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> it wasn't too much tongue, but I was just not expecting it at all. It was the fact that there was a tongue in my mouth and I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> and I start freaking out and I pull away and I'm so embarrassed because I'm like, I have no idea what just happened. We just go like, okay, bye. And just completely like walk completely separate ways. I walk towards the car and I'm like thinking to myself, my best friend just saw this whole thing go down by the way. And I'm like, wow, I cannot believe that was my first kiss. Like that was so embarrassing. And I'm like, no, I refuse to let that be my first kiss. And so I run back and I like grab his arm and I'm like, no, I'm not gonna let that happen. So I gave him like a really slight, small smooch and I just walked away and I I was like, okay, I'm just gonna say that that's my first kiss from now on. <laughs> so for like the first maybe months after that, we would give each other like only small pecks. He would like come over to my house. My mom's super chill. So we'd like lay in my bed and watch a movie. The most we would do is peck. And I remember my best friend distinctly telling me like, Angela, you have a boyfriend. Why are you not making out with him? And I was like, cause I'm scarred from the first time. And that's my first kiss horror story. <laughs> What's up, I'm Alex. And today I'm gonna tell you my first kiss horror story. I was around 13 or 14 when this happened, too young. Definitely, but who cares? We were in school, we're chilling. This is a girl, by the way, I'm queer. We were on that level, but we weren't at the same time. We were like friends, but we also knew that we liked each other. So one day we were chilling. We were in the lunchroom. It was empty. Usually they have like after school programs. And so we snuck in there afterwards, like after the after school program. In that moment, we were just talking about life you know, the life talk. In my head, I was like, should I kiss her? Ooh, I was a bitch back then. I was so scared of everything. So this, when I did that, I was so proud of myself. Little did I know. And so she has braces. I kind of just kissed her, I leaned in and kissed her. And my lip caught on her braces bracket. She kept pushing herself in more. She kept like, and I was like, ooh, okay. The more she pushed in, the more that my lip would like slowly slide into her mouth. It was just like, the whole skin right there ripped. Oh, it hurt so bad. I remember it so vividly, oh my God. And it was bleeding and I didn't want to embarrass her. So I kind of just played it off and was like, oh, hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom. Cause she didn't know. So I was like, oh my God, hold on, I gotta go to the bathroom. And then after that, I kind of just kept my distance cause she thought that it went well. And I'm in my head, I'm like, ooh, no more. She was really cool, but after that I was like, no. And so I vowed from that day that I would never ever kiss a girl with braces again. And then I avoided her for the rest of the school year. And she didn't know why until later on in the years. That girl, she was sensitive, really easily hurt by everything. And so I didn't want to be the cause of her depression and the cause of her not wanting to kiss people again. First of all, when I went home, my mom was like, who beat your ass? I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell her I kissed anyone. I was too young. It's like, oh, this girl hit me. My mom almost went to, to the school. I was like, no, I handled her. I got her. You don't gotta worry about it. That's how noticeable it was. If my mom thought someone hurt me, which someone did, then it had to be bad. It wasn't that big though. It was kind of like a little mark right there. It took like maybe a week or two to heal completely, like no mark at all. I still had to go to school and people still saw it. I couldn't tell them again because I didn't want her to be embarrassed. So came up with a whole bunch of different lies like, oh, someone hit me or I bumped my head into the wall or my brother, because my brother was a baby at the time. My brother headbutt me and busted my lip. So that was my first kiss horror story.
don't judge me. Hi, I'm Akilah, and today I'm gonna tell you my first kiss horror story. In the summer going into ninth grade, I was 14, and me and my friend had gotten all dressed up to go to the mall, and when we went to the mall, the, like I had looked at this cute boy, he looked back at me, and then so he came, and he was like, hey, can I have your Snapchat? And I was like, oh, sure. And so we started talking only for about three days or so, because he started to get really boring, and I'm, I didn't like it. When I started my first day of ninth grade, I had seen him again at my school. So I was like, oh my God, like I just ghosted him. Like now I have to see him in person. I have to see him every day. And then he would start kind of giving me like looks and I'd be like, oh, like what was that for? <laughs> it was never any like verbal communication until one day about like three weeks after the first day of school, I had yelled off the bus and I was like, hey, long time no talk. He was like, oh, the shy girl finally talked to me. Text me when you get home. I was like, okay. We started talking, we were talking on Instagram, Snapchat, we were FaceTiming on the phone for the entire weekend. And somehow we had gotten on the topic of like kissing. And I'd explained to him like, I never had my first kiss yet. So he was like, oh, do you want me to change that? And I was like, uh, sure. But like, you know, I tried to sound like cool about it, but I definitely didn't sound cool about it. He was like, for sure, meet me in second lunch on Monday. Of course, you know, this is my first kiss. You have to prepare. I was watching all the YouTube videos. I was practicing on a glass, on my hand, on the wall. I even tried a book, but that one didn't work out too well. The day of, I curled my hair into perfect beach waves, and the entire day, I could not sit still. I kept looking at the clock. Finally, in my fourth period, it was 11.56, and so I didn't even ask the teacher. I just left. Like, I grabbed my backpack and I left. I had met him and I thought, you know, we were gonna go straight to the place where we were supposed to kiss. But instead, he took me around this school to go meet his friends. And like from each of his friends, he got a oh, like, you know, like a, a handshake. And I was like really confused. I was like, oh, what are we doing? <laughs> and then finally, he takes me up the stairs. It was kind of awkward because we weren't really talking. We were just kind of looking at each other. And then I had to like start what I practiced. You know, like I tucked my hair behind my ear, like perfectly, just how I practiced. I knew it was like that time because he started leaning in you know like I was nervous so you know my thoughts started coming in and I was like wait why is he so far he was trying to kiss me from like a foot away and he was leaning in slowly and so I was just kind of looking around like my eyes are open I don't really know what to do finally finally he kisses me and it's the worst thing ever it felt like a leech he put like his tongue in my mouth and then like sucked my lips off my face I remember just thinking like is this how it's supposed to happen <laughs> I started kissing him back and by accident, I stuck my tongue and the gap of his front two teeth. For a second, like I didn't know what it was. I was just like, oh, like what's this? We kind of like stopped kissing and I looked and I was like, oh, and like I had realized what I did. It didn't seem like too awkward to him, but I felt really awkward. But like I liked him. So like, it's not like I was gonna just leave or anything. And so I was looking at my phone and I was about to text my best friend a picture, you know, just, you know, having <laughs> to, pose and tell her like I finally had my first kiss and then I look and like the foundation on my face is kind of like splotchy and I look at his face and my foundation had transferred all over his face and it was so noticeable <laughs> and so I tried like rubbing it off with my finger it would not come off so like I, I used my sleeve and he was like what are you doing I was like nothing it's just like <laughs> something right here because I didn't want him to know like I got makeup on his face <laughs> After like I had spent like 10 minutes trying to scrub the foundation off his face, the bell rang and he had kissed me one more time. He had walked me to class. I think people could see like the little bit of foundation left on his face, so everybody kind of knew what happened. Then like we were still texting a little bit in class and I, like I remember going home and all my friends were teasing me saying that I kissed the leech. It was so embarrassing. You know, we talked for a little bit more, like maybe like a month or two, it kind of just like faded off on its own. <laughs> and that is my first kiss horror story.